What's up YouTube? Today we are going to be doing a quick overview of my 2018 Toyota Tacoma camp setup. It's a pretty minimal setup, um, but I'm hoping to build on it in the future. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for checking it out. Let's dive in. street but so pretty much standard up front didn't do much just tinted the windows to make it a little darker in here um, I keep this area open because my phone has wireless charging and pretty much keep these open for cups or whatever in here I did get the divider uh, link will be down below uh, for this but it's just a divider that helps keep everything organized I got some pins and uh, you know pressure gauges here to, to our tire gauges there, sunglasses, duct tape. This is kind of the survival stuff here. Snake bite kit, so we do have a lot of snakes here in Southern California. Knives, an emergency crank flashlight, some extra wires, uh, and then my chargers for both an iPhone and a Nexus. Or sorry, a Pixel 3. Um, keep this thing. Kind of reduces down some of the smell. I don't know if it really works, but uh, it doesn't hurt. Two extra cup holders there. Uh, this is all of my current film stuff. Uh, I've got these cheapo seat covers on here. They came out of my RAM. Um, they were like, I think, 20 maybe $40 at um, Target, and they've held up pretty well, actually. Inside of the glove locks, nothing really. Uh, just some napkins, utensils, my normal user guide, some extra fuses, and then a CPR mask. Um, you know, it's good to have one of those, because... I don't want to be doing CPR face mouth to mouth with anyone. Pills and gum, the important stuff. It is dirty, it just rained recently. And then underneath the seat I keep some lithium batteries for my flashlights. These do come up, but that's just because I cut it. So we'll get, be getting new seat covers soon enough. <coughs> Lint roller, keep the gear clean. I do have a dog that sheds like crazy. Baby wipes, some microfibers, and some uh, medical gloves. I've got this. I bought this at uh, Sam's Club for 25 bucks, and it has been well worth its weight in gold. Uh, keeps the dog hair off as well as it's water resistant. So if I throw gear up here, um, doesn't get into the seats. But <clears throat> underneath here work boots um, and then this is my bag for keeping those boots clean and then my work bag stays in here if we open this up I just toss this over move these boots out of the way we have a down uh, blanket which is coming handy quite often uh, if you just take a nap in the car or whatever uh, safety vest for the freeway or whatever any road it does help at night you can see people um, umbrella for the odd chance it rains here in California and then uh, two road flares um, those flares have come in handy you know, set it off. If there's a car broken down, you stop and help them out, throw that down. Uh, behind the seat here, I have a medical bag. I can get for, jump further into that guy if you guys want. Just leave a comment down below. But basically, got basic first aid stuff, uh, some pills. Um, I go all the way up to bleeding control, halo dressings, tourniquets. 
uh, a lot of stuff in there. Uh, IV bag and tubing uh, down here. Not like I will need to be using that, but I do have it. In the event. One thing that is kind of cool, a lot of people don't do this, is uh, you've got, you can tuck your seatbelt up here. Especially if you have something like I do over the seat, it keeps it so you can pop those out. But that's that for this side. I'll jump over to the other side in just a second here. All right. So on this side here, pretty straightforward. Uh, so I've got this bag care uh, with the carabiner to the seat just so it doesn't move around too much. Um, not that it will. Basically, this is like a overnight bag or, you know, in, in case I decide to go hiking or whatever, I've got um, all the stuff I need. Headlamp, uh, jacket, thermals, um, hat, you know, some sunscreen in there, uh, some emergency water, some other stuff. But if you'd like a deeper dive into this thing, leave a comment down below and I'll do that. So underneath here, um, I've just got a Arctic cooler. I believe this is a 20 liter. Um, so I've got a, this is just kind of, if I go to the store, I can throw stuff in here. Or if I decide to go camping, um, I have a small cooler, keep stuff cold while I need to. Uh, it's also got my hammock in it right now. Um, and a mountain house meal just to have one in case I need it, in case of emergency. This is just the case for that the seat cover thing. So I'll slide this back here. Sorry, it's so dark. Uh, so I just flop that back if I need to get there. It is a little bit inconvenient in that situation, but it does help out a lot. So, behind the seat here, we've got our hiking boots right over there, and then a tool bag. Um, if you want a list of what I carry in there, I'll have that listed down below. But basically, some channel locks, pliers, um, you know, the emergency stuff you need. Uh, only thing that I need to get is a good pair of jumper, jumper cables for back there. Underneath this seat, we have nothing too exciting, just an inverter right there. Uh, in case I need to have a actual power outlet, I can just plug it in up front. And then our normal jacks. But that is that. I do plan on adding stuff under there and moving it as needed, but um, I also have a little trash can there. It's uh, called a drive. What the heck is it? It's just like drive auto products. It's just a bag that sits in there and I just have a bunch of grocery bags. So one, I can either use a grocery bag because we have to have reusable grocery bags when we go shopping or pay for them. So I have a bunch of them stuffed in the side of that. Uh, and then we'll get into the exciting stuff back here. Just a second. Alright, so back here we have two water jugs. Five gallons each. Um, in the case we need water or whatever, you know. Uh, they're there. Um, and then in here, I use this case. There. Really, you could use anything. Uh, I just have a padlock, and then I'll have a cable lock that runs through that side and back down. Um, yes, I know it's upside down, but it makes it easier to get to. So in here, we have a bag here. That's just kind of for added protection. It's a REI. Um, bag, but I keep a down sleeping bag, um, a 
wet sack with uh, two t-shirts, um, a pair of thermals, rain gear, uh, pretty much that, and then a fleece jacket, a hat, and then I have my tent, as well as a um, sleeping pad. So it's an inflatable sleeping pad, and that <clears throat> pretty much covers that bag. Like I said, it's just convenience, or if I need to put extra stuff back here, I can throw this in the back of the car um, without having to worry about too much. <clears throat> um, over here we have got a platypus. Uh, water filtration system. We have two of those Husky headlamps here. A Coleman uh, grill stove combo. So this side is a grill and this side is the stove. Um, used it a few times. I don't know if I love the grill combo, but it does work. Uh, these are our plates in case we want to use plates. Uh, so I have stove, <coughs> cooking fuel for my jet boil, and then we have um, propane for the uh, grill here. Inside of here is basically our all of our cooking stuff. It's in this orange bag, so that way I can say, hey, grab the orange stuff for cooking if, if we needed to. Um, This stuff also has all of my fire starting, not all of it, but some of the fire starting stuff that we need, would need. <clears throat> so this is uh, G, what, GSI, yeah, GSI. So this bottom part doubles as a um, like a kitchen sink, basically. Got a spoon, spatula, two cups, which actually double as a cup and a bowl because they split. So you can have your coffee in one, and then you can have your whatever uh, food in the other. Some hand sanitizers, some uh, dishwashing soap in there, and then plastic lid. This is all backpacking related. This is what we take backpacking. Uh, and the good thing about this setup is all I have to do is load it up like this. I can throw it all in my backpack if I want to go. Um, yeah, that's it. Underneath the grill, I have some hideous orange uh, flip-flops for shower shoes, just because you know those showers get disgusting. So, um, And that's really it. Toiletries are inside that black bag there, but you don't need a whole lot to go. So this is kind of trying to help me get out more often. Especially with this truck here, you know, the capabilities are endless. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool setup so far. I'm hoping to get something above the top. I had a tonneau cover on my last truck. I liked it. I don't know how great it will work for this future setup, but uh, we'll find out. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below if you think I should add anything. No, this is kind of just the start of it. I plan on adding a lot more uh, into it and kind of really just dependent on what I learn from some of these trips. Car camping is fairly new to me. Um, I've done some in the past, but it definitely helps the more you get out there. That's kind of why I like to have all this stuff on me at all times. Just promotes getting out there and enjoying life a little bit more. Uh, not having the excuses in the way. You know. Hope you guys like it. Give it a thumbs up. Comment and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. It really helps. Have a great day.